Local and federal law enforcement officials are warning parents to inspect their kids' Halloween and candy this year after 12. Oh, 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 rainbow fentanyl pills were found in candy packaging at Los Angeles International Airport on October 19. The dealers weren't targeting children, and authorities don't believe the fentanyl will be deliberately placed in kids' candy bags, Bill Bodner. Special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Agency's Los Angeles office, said at a news conference in front of Pasadena City Hall on Thursday, October 27. Had they not intercepted those drugs in those candy bags and boxes, they would have ended up in someone's home at night, no doubt about it. The pills were put into candy bags to hide them from law enforcement and other people, he said. So a bag of Skittles that contains fentanyl pills goes into a drug dealer's home and there happens to be kids in that home, Bodner said. It's Halloween time and maybe the child then takes that bag and takes it to school with them and that's where we have the danger of fentanyl in my mind. Bodner urged parents to trick or treat with their kids, inspect the candy, make sure it's a brand they recognize and make sure it's unopened. If possible, put the candy in a secure location and open and inspect it when a child wants a piece, he said. Michelle Garrett of Altadena attended the news conference with her 8-year-old son Dwayne, who was dressed in a Troy Palomala costume. My mom is going to look at the candy before I eat, the tiny football player announced. We're definitely going to be on high alert, being careful, Garrett sighed. We need to pay attention in all aspects, from where they're going to be there within what's going in the bag. Fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin and just 2 milligrams could be fatal, officials say. When mixed with other drugs, fentanyl increases the likelihood of a deadly overdose. The DEA issued an alert in September about rainbow-colored fentanyl that in pill form resembles candy, like sweet tarts, and in block form looks like sidewalk chalk. Federal officials said it was a deliberate attempt to market the drug to minors. But some experts have called that speculation, noting youngsters don't tend to have much in the way of disposable income. 